First and 10 North Dakota State out of the I pro set. And there goes Tyler Roll. There is just not any maroon and gold. Yeah. Look at that. He breaks another one. Loses the ball. Minnesota dives for it on the turnover. Gophers get it back inside their own territory. You still have to run the football successfully or your offense becomes predictable. Third and two. Pinnix just keeps those knees churning. Gets near the three yard line but shy of first down yardage. Now this will be an interesting call. Play action fake the bootleg Adam Weber will get close to the first down. I think he's got it. Looked like he was it. Yeah he did pick it up. I still disagree with the call and again coach Brewster showing the fire that he has because this thing was fairly covered up. Linebacker stays outside and forces Weber inside from where the help's coming from. Then you could stop the play. Weber, good job of being headsy. He knew where he had to get to. Exactly. Extended on the dive. First and goal for the Gophers. Decker in motion across. Pinnix. Touchdown, Minnesota. Eckendorf, wide top of your screen. Steve Walker pulls it down. Flares it out. First down, Bison, and much, much more. Upended at the 39 yard line. Alex Belquist out of New Rockford, North Dakota. Let's go back. Minnesota has to have a big stand here defensively. And they're looking for somebody to step up and make plays. Talking to Coach Withers, he said the one frustrating thing is that guys have been in position to make plays and they just fa have failed to do so. From the 38. Huge hole left side. Jared Wagner, Nate Safe, Harrington opening things up for Paschal. Paschal. Hangs it high, angles for the far sideline, gets this one out of bounds inside the 20 again. That's his seventh inside the 20. Willie Mack Garza calling the defensive signals for North Dakota State. Big hole left side across the 40 near the 42 yard line. Finally in the grasp of Joe Mays out of Chicago, Illinois, Chicago Hyde Park High School. What a senior year he had in high school at Chicago Hyde Park. Huh? 115 tackles, 16 quarterback sacks. Joe Mays is a guy that in studying the tape, he's the one guy that jumps out right away when you watch film on him. He's very instinctive, I and I instinctive and intelligent, and he's fast at flowing to the football. Second and three for the Gophers. Get up in there. Another Minnesota first down that's bended out of Fairview Heights, Illinois. From the 27, first and 10. Option. Phoenix. Not that time. I'm not sure coming off the uh, hip flexor and the turf toe, that's the play Phoenix wants to see called in the huddle. No, you're exactly right on that. To run a stretch play, try and get outside. You know, you, you're playing against a read and react defense who flows well to the football. Look at the guys in the pursuit angle. You're better off attacking, trying to run right at the Bison. They move too well laterally. This is where Weber loves to find his big play receiver, Will Wright, in an isolation. See him up top on the screen in the slot. Third and 19. Bison. Five defensive backs. Weber fires. Incomplete at the seven, a little bit high. Great coverage and closing there by North Dakota State. Open for a second. David that, Earl. This has been a battle though. And both teams really doing what they do. Minnesota trying to spread out and go vertical down the field. And the Bison being very physical. Sticking with their downhill running style. But also mixing in some passing to keep Minnesota on their heels. And went to the Orange Bowl with Tom Osborne in 79, the Cotton Bowl back in 80. Said we're playing better teams like Central Michigan, winner of the MAC in Minnesota. They've been to five straight bowl games. 
make our program and our kids better. First and ten. They will work on the clock. Big hole and forget the clock. Here we go again. Tyler Roll just explodes. Just tripped up at the 25 yard line. A play that looked like absolutely nothing. He exploded through the hole. He rambled for that first score, 76 yards. He started running out of oxygen. Look at the hole. Boom. Well, this is what one in six teams do. With 34 seconds on the clock, you give up a big run of this proportion. Are you kidding me? He's having a career here this afternoon. Look at the explosion, the cut back there, and off to the races. Well, they have bodies in position to make plays. Now, Barber, credit him for not giving up on the play, reeling in Tyler Roll and preventing a touchdown. But I go back to it. When, when you don't win games, when you're one and six, this is exactly the reason why you give up 200 yards to a running back in only the first half in at critical time. Two. Absolutely unthinkable, Jim. That first touchdown scamper was 76. That last one was 68. That's a buck 54 of his 200 yards total on two carries, two of his nine. And take take nothing away from Tyler Roll at 228 pounds. It took a while for guys to get down the field and catch him. He's a talented back. The fact is that they can't give up those plays in such critical time. If Barber doesn't close, the Bison are up. Down at the 20 yard line inside of 15 14 and counting Heckendorf on the catch. Will they spike it or get a playoff. They spike it here. Watch the cut and then the acceleration by the junior Tyler Roll out of West Fargo North Dakota. Well and this is 228 pounds coming right at you and it takes a while you talk about lack of overall team speed now again Barber did get him down eventually to safety but the pursuit angles just weren't there and that's also what's been the nemesis for the people Bebo a 37 yard field goal Bison back on top in the Metrodome a terrific first half North Dakota State came in ranked number one division one double A and that man in the second half meanwhile coach bowl and Mr. Roll they're on a roll we're at halftime well a stampede of support for the bison uh, kind of igniting some passions on the prairie if you will hi again everybody along with Chris Martin welcome back on the Big Ten Network Tyler Roll was not exactly a household name going into this Saturday he's going to be known from coast to coast he's got 200 yards on nine carries but what an exciting first half. Gophers scored just three plays in, huh? Well, and you knew that would be their formula for success. But we'll see Minnesota right out the shoot a little trickery, finding Spry in the corner of the end zone. But here's where they battle back. The Bison getting it to Big Tyler Roll, running through contact, showing his burst and suddenness and ability to get the ball to the house really just playing physically and then you'll see it here rolling out Walker finding his big fullback Tyler Jangula but Minnesota keeps coming Weber on a quarterback option picks up the first down that was on fourth and one and then Penix bangs it in his sixth rushing touchdown of the year right there and then just before halftime there goes roll again his first carry was 76 yards this one 68 yards that's a buck 54 and two carries and a 37 yard field goal by the sophomore that's Sean Bebo North Dakota State on top by a field goal you take a look at the rushing yards 200 of those belong to Tyler Roll that's unthinkable to think that I bet they're working on tackling drills at halftime and also getting off of blocks. That's what they have to do better if they want a chance to win this game, Jim. Second half kickoff, so stick around live on the big.